Ready to revive the outdoors with Cody and Cody. On the water, in the woods. Pursuits made possible by Trijicon, Brilliant Aiming Solutions, Brunton, Equipment for Outdoor Adventures, Lacrosse, established 1897, built to last, Commando Hunting Products. Command the Wild, Gerber, fend for yourself. Cody, he's hunting up there not too far from where I was at. He's got some awesome eggs on him. He's picking with some antlers. He's having some great response out of the bucks up there. Go check in with him and see if he can't pull one back. See how stupid they are? <laughs> That's a trip, I love doing that. It's crazy. We walk down in this draw, pretty much where we're hunting. A bunch of rolling hills, a lot of little draws. There's actually a pond down here. We called two bucks in within 10 minutes.
There, by the edge. I'm at him. Wait till he turns. When you're ready. Great shot. Yeah. Brilliant aiming solutions. Trigicon. I won't apologize for being a man. Or let you work harder than me. I will protect those in need. And be the guy others depend on. I will fend for myself. maybe a little eight, walk in, and he was not happy. As you can tell, he puffed up. And the other one kind of got a little nervous. I thought they were going to go to fisticuffs there for a second, but they, uh, they ended off. But you really can't ask for much more without being greedy. Man, we got a, another morning hunt uh, tomorrow, and if it doesn't work out, um, you know, a, a bigger buck, shoot buck doesn't come in, or just doesn't come into range, we still got December. And as you can tell, it's unbelievable out here. That chain, uh, they only take about 15 bucks a year. And we've seen, we've yet to see this, the same buck since, since sitting here for a week. Me and Cody have been sitting here and have yet to see the same bucks cross. Um, and this is only one spot, one spot in 10,000 acres. Is I'll uh, keep it quiet now. We're going to head down. Head back out here tomorrow morning and see if we can get done. Let's roll.
If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start. Do any amount of hunting and you'll appreciate the next generation of Alpha Boots by LaCrosse. These new Alpha Lights not only keep your feet warm and dry like the original Alphas, they're even lighter and more comfortable. LaCrosse hasn't left out the snug ankle fit or aggressive outsole either. They've just taken out some of the weight, making the trip from the tree stand to the truck all the easier. We all know that other boots cost a few bucks less, but your feet pretty much end up paying for it. And that's why I've kept a pair of LaCrosse boots in my truck for over 20 years. Good stick, you know. He's we've we've seen some some bigger deer. He's still a, a really nice deer, nice ten. And he came in. He was close, and this is the last day of the hunt. I, we'd come back in December, but uh, um, just hunting this bottom, we've seen some some good bucks down here. Um, but it was just that decision. It was it was hard for me to make. Um, that's my first buck with bow, actually. Um, you know, I've had some that I've made some shot on, but but just not that good. And uh, he uh, he's outside his ears, so he's uh, you know at least 16 inches wide. He's probably about 17. And another thing about these Kansas bucks, it's hard to tell because their bodies are so big. But um, he's got decent mass, good time length, really symmetrical deer, and uh, he's a uh, he's a pretty deer. So. We're gonna give him some time and then uh, see if we can go find him. That's the most graceful I've been coming out of that tree. <clears throat> All right. Well, we got about 75% of it out of the way now. 25 is find a good trail and then find a deer. There he is, sitting right down there. Yes! That's what I like. Man, and look at this. Look at all these, all these rubs. That's how you know there's big deer in this bottom. I mean, this is just a, a ravine, kind of uh, wire. We got like a field here and a farm where they don't like to us. And it's just like a highway. You just hang a stand right here too, probably get a good one. You got a scrape right here. Rubs. There's just wrong, but let's go check this dude out. He's just wild. This is a hundred percent hunting here at the chain ranch. I'm not hunter, hunting over any feeders, no fences, anything like that. Just ten thousand acres of as wild as you can get. And it has been a dream. Damn it. Nice ten, nice. Probably about in the 140 range, real uh, real nice time length, and uh, he's got pretty good math as you, mass, as you can see. It's pretty, uh, almost palmated up throughout here. But yeah, really symmetrical. He's just a, that's a nice buck. And as you can tell, man, look how, look how thick they are up here in Kansas. Just the, the agricultural land is uh, just unbelievable. Whew. Feels good, feels good. Well. I just want to first off thank Chain, uh, the family and the ranch, Newly and Yerrick for uh, you know always believing what Cody and I do with the show and um, just always being a, a part of the show. But on top of that, just being real good friends. Every time we go out, we have fun. As you can tell, the, the cow decoy with me and Newly did, the, the, the stalk with me and Yerrick. Um, 
and this is this is just icing on the cake really um, to be able to go out with some some guys like that and do some hunting um, you know like uh, the stalking did yesterday was kind of a bust yeah even though it was an accomplishment, accomplishment for me to get that close uh, you know not getting a shot but to be able to go out in the stand and it worked out like it did this morning and you know Yerick said uh, um, you just got to have have faith and he was talking about the stalking deal but I think that's a big important not only in life but when it comes to hunting a lot of times you may have not seen that big buck in your stand but just sit there and wait and you know in time he'll pass through um, if we had big bucks come out in our stand every morning uh, then we wouldn't be out here hunting God, it feels so good I love it thanks for staying with us I know it's kind of you know, you know been, a, been a long hunt but it's been jam-packed heck of a show and, uh, you know, we thank y'all for watching, so stay tuned until next time. Do any amount of hunting and you'll appreciate the next generation of Alpha Boots by LaCrosse. These new Alpha Lights not only keep your feet warm and dry like the original Alphas, they're even lighter and more comfortable. LaCrosse hasn't left out the snug ankle fit or aggressive outsole either. They've just taken out some of the weight, making the trip from the tree stand to the truck all the easier. We all know that other boots cost a few bucks less, but your feet pretty much end up paying for it. And that's why I've kept a pair of lacrosse boots in my truck for over 20 years. Up there by the edge. I'm on him. Wait till he turns. When you're ready. Great shot. Brilliant aiming solutions. Trigicon. If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start morning so hopefully we'll get some coyotes and maybe some bobcats coming in. All right I heard that this is a, looks like a pretty good spot I think we're gonna set up here and see if we can't get the call and bring something on in. Let's get set up.
Oh, get him with me. Get him with me. Got him. Got another one. Okay, see. Good shot. All right. <laughs> Man, let's head out and take a look at him. This seems like they look like pretty big coyotes. Yeah, he's a pretty nice coyote. All right. <laughs> First coyote ever. So, what 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 size would you class this as? Oh, this is probably an average size yeah. coyote. He probably weighs uh, 30 pounds. 30? You know what's the biggest you've ever taken? Uh, mm -hmm. Probably in the in the high 50s. Oh, that a boy. There's another one right down there. Oh, yeah, get him, get him, get him. Where's get him. it? Going up the hill. Oh, you got him, didn't you? No, I don't think so. No, nope. there he goes. Yeah, all right. That a baby. All it takes is the wind to quit blowing. I think dude. that's what. Man, that was a rush, dude. I see the other one. Oh, that one there was running that way. Oh, it was? Yeah. Yeah. He ran that way. I, I guess they're trying to circle back around. There. That was quite a deal. That's a I'm rush, man. Where did he come out like right there, man? He came out <laughs> down on the side of us. I can't believe Did he run he right in front of you? Behind us. Yeah, I he was. I get I don't know where he came from, but when I saw him, he was right here. And he's he's a little he's a little bitty old just, Yeah, he's not very Yeah, excited. like that. But yeah, he was right here. And I aimed and he started running. And he went down to the bottom and finally stopped and I Me and you oh, both oh, shot. Did we both shoot right there? Yeah, and he he tucked and ran under that fence and slinked under again. Did you shoot again after that? Yeah, he shot yeah. one more time. And I think I did too. Yeah. I don't know. And then, then you hit him a third time. <laughs> third well, time's a charm. That's a good shot on that God. kind of running coyote like Running that. coyote's tough to hit. Practice right there. Well, the sun's going down and Cody and I just finished up a great predator hunt. Uh, just call the number at the bottom of the screen. It, uh, it's excellent. We had a blast doing this. Uh, but until then, let's hit the water. We'd like to thank you, the sportsman, for joining us on Revive the Outdoors with Cody and Cody. We'd like for you to share your outdoor adventures. Visit us at CodyandCody.tv.